Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Well, in the studio, we've got the very popular Tonewood amp. Now the guys from Tonewood sent this into the channel for me to check out. So we're gonna find out what it's good at, what it sounds like, and if it's worth the money. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what the Tonewood amp is, well, it's a really interesting unit. It works in a couple different ways. Number one, it's kind of like an effects unit for your acoustic guitar. As you can see, I'm plugged from my guitar into the Tonewood amp, and from there you can take an output, go to your computer, go to a PA system, go to a DI box, and have all of those effects come through. So from that standpoint, it's kind of like a multi-effects unit. But the real magic is you don't need to plug it in at all, and you can get all of those effects straight out of your guitar. So that means you can be anywhere in the world and still get reverb, delay, trim, vibrato, all those effects coming straight out of your sound hole without plugging in. Now I've got this one mounted in my Furch guitar. Well, it's actually a Stonebridge, but it's the same company and it's a fairly high-end guitar. So we also need to talk about, well, does this permanently mod my guitar? Uh, how easy was the installation? Can anybody do it? How long did it take? All of those things, we'll talk about that at the end. But for now, let's talk about the tones. So we're gonna go through the tone list and just show you guys what it sounds like. Now I'm gonna be just miking this straight up. So no extra effects on the computer or anything like that. It's gonna be just the sound coming directly from the guitar. And as I mentioned, it's not plugged into any external source other than the Tonewood amp. All right, you guys, it's time to check out some tones on the Tonewood amp. I'm gonna go through a few of my favorite. If you want the full list of effects and all the specs on the unit and all that stuff, I will link to it in the video description below. You guys can check that out there. Other than that, let's start with the first three sounds. Now they're all verbs. We've got a hall, we've got a room, and we've got a plate. So for the hall verb, I'm going to give a long spacious delay. For the room, a shorter one, more, you know, probably useful for like rhythm playing. And then we'll check out the plate. Here we go. Let's check out those clips. <laughs> Next up, let's check out one of my favorite settings on the Tonewood amp. That's a nice, clean, and crisp delay. Let's take a listen. Next up, we've got some tremolo. Let's see what that sounds like coming straight out of an acoustic guitar. Now there's also a Leslie setting, which is kind of a rotating speaker kind of thing. Let's see what that sounds like.
So here's what you get when you order the Tonewood amp. You get the main effects unit. Here's the, the side where you make all the adjustments. And here's the side that interacts with the guitar body to create those effects. So very simple unit. Basically what you have is your main effects type. So you just dial it in and it gives you the different effects. Here is the main parameters and here is the overall volume. Now every guitar will react differently, so very easy, but there's also a few different things. There's a parameter if you click the button in, so you can access some second level kind of adjustments. And then the third one is when you press and hold. So the default is just rotating, and then there's a couple other parameters. I didn't even dive in those uh, when I used them, but you could definitely, you know, you know, do the EQ and really kind of tweak it. But just for the basics, uh, very, very easy. And then there's a readout screen right here and the main power right there. So that's the main unit. You also get a patch cable to go from the main unit into your guitar so that it takes your guitar signal and knows what to you know, do with it. And then this is the internal brace. So let's take these uh, components and install it on my guitar. All right, so let's install this Tonewood amp on the acoustic guitar. So I'm just gonna loosen off the strings. It might be easier if you just like remove the strings, but I'll show you, you can just do it by, you know, completely loosening your strings off. You don't have to change them unless it needs it. So basically what we're gonna do is take that X brace and it's got some powerful magnets on it. So we're gonna try to just get it, um, depending on the bracing of your guitar, kind of in this zone right here. So I'm kind of feeling for the back of the guitar and once I can feel that that brace is pretty close to the back there, I'm just going to take the Tonewood amp and put it on the back. And there are some pretty powerful magnets. So right away, you should feel it clamp down. Um, so I'll show you guys on the back where it's at. <clears throat> so I got pretty close. Here, I'll just slide it over. Actually, I got really close um, because, I, as I said, uh, the sweet spot on this guitar, I tried moving it around a few spots, was about two inches from the back, maybe an inch and a half, but I don't have it quite centered. As you can see, the center line is right here, and probably for optimal tone transfer, I should have it something like that. And the Tonewood amp is ready to rock, as you can see, maybe. <laughs> Uh, the last setting I was using was the Leslie, and yeah, we're ready to go. And then you can just kind of click through. There you go, Ottawa, tram, delay, plate verb, room verb, hall verb. So there you go. It's installed, and uh, yeah, like I said, it only takes a couple minutes. Uh, if you were going to use the adhesive on the back of the, the magnets and kind of leave it permanently on a guitar, you might want to kind of take a little bit more time to get it perfect. So here are my final thoughts on the Tonewood amp. Now this thing retails for about 250 bucks US. And you know, when you think about how much guitarists will spend on their pedal board or even on a single boutique pedal, uh, it's not too bad for what it offers. So 250 bucks. And if you want those extra internal braces so that you can just pop it off and put it on another guitar, those retail, I think for about 30 bucks. So if you have a nylon string or, you know, a jumbo and, you know, something smaller and you want to use your Tonewood amp on all of them, you just buy those internal braces braces, pop it off, put it on a new guitar. That's the advantage of the Tonewood amp over something built in. Um, now it does take AA batteries and it chews through them pretty quick. So I would recommend using some, you know, rechargeable batteries. Uh, it is a shame they don't have a model that you can just plug in with a USB or something. Maybe that'll be coming in the future, but for now it's AA batteries. And I think I know why, you know, if your, your internal battery dies right before you're supposed to play somewhere or like at a coffee shop or something like that or at a gig uh, you don't want to just have to plug it into the wall and wait for your gig to start or whatever you just pop in a new set of batteries so I understand why they did it but it does chew through batteries pretty quick so it'd be nice to have the option now beyond that as you guys could hear well the effects work exceedingly well I captured it with just a single microphone in front of the sound hole so you guys were hearing pretty much exactly what I was hearing and it's easy to use you've got your over Overall volume, you've got your parameter setting, and then you've got your patches. So three knobs, that's all you need. And you know, finding the sweet spot on your guitar might just take a second or two, you know, sliding it forward or back um, because every guitar shape will resonate slightly different uh, in this concert shape. Pretty much like an inch and a half from the back was just perfect. So you might just have to, you know, move it forward or back depending on the shape of your, your guitar. Um, but yeah, once it's there, it's there, you know, it's not going anywhere. And if you, uh, although it does add a little bit of weight on the back, if your guitar is prone to 
into headstock dive. Uh, it actually balances your guitar out, so that's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, be aware it does add a little bit of weight to the back. Um, but yeah, it didn't contact my body at all while playing. It's uh, well out of the way, so you're never going to hit the knobs or anything like that. So yeah. There you guys go. Overall, I mean, I think it sounds good. Priced pretty decent, uh, works really, really well. And the fact that you can, you know, I think the main draw of the tonal amp over something built in is just the ability to use it on multiple guitars. So there you guys go. Those are my final thoughts on the tonal amp. Thanks so much for watching you guys. If you enjoy videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I will link to the tonal amp in the video description below. Have yourself a great day.